Hi everyone, I am Al Hamid and this is the Zoombit tutorial series. If you are lucky enough to have your own Zoombit like me, then welcome aboard to this series as we will learn STEM and coding along with a huge amount of fun. By the end of this series, you will find yourself has gained a lot of programming skills and you will be quite familiar with the robotic world. Thanks to Zoombit. All right, so before we start, if your Zoombit is still in its box and you haven't done the assembly yet, you may watch this video as it will show you how to do it step by step. I will leave the link in the description below. Very well. So, if you notice, there is an awesome colorful book comes along with the Zoombit. And here, me and you, we will go through all the 10 chapters of this guidebook where we will be learning a lot of things together along the way. So, without wasting any more time, let's start this journey and go to our first destination, which is chapter 1. In the very first chapter, we will begin by turning on the LED matrix of microbit and let the zoom bit display hello world now i encourage you to bring your computer and the book so you can follow me all right so the first thing we want to do is to open the browser and go to makegood.microbit.org and then click on your project you may give a name to your project and in our case we will call it Hello world. So this is how the page will look like. It's super easy to use it. Let's break it one by one so we can understand it better. All right, so here at the top, you can choose which way you want to program the micro bit. There is the blocks method, or you may either use between JavaScript or the Python. In our case, we will be using the blocks. The very first icon on the right side, it will enable you to publish and share your project once you finish it. And next to it, there is the help menu. On the right corner, there is the setting button. Here you can change the setting of your project, connect a device, add extension, and etc. Moving back to the left side, you will see a micro bit simulator. And this one, it will show you how the micro bit will function before we even download the code to our own micro bit. Right next to it, these colorful things called the toolbox or the category drawers. We will discover what's inside them later on. And this big white area for the programming workspace. Here you can build your code by snapping the blocks together this way. The last thing that we will be doing once we finish writing the code is to download the code to the micro bit from here. And in this white box, you can rename your project and save it to your computer. This is a bit advanced, but anyway, here is the GitHub repository. Next to it, we have the undo and redo buttons. And the last thing on our screen is the zooming buttons. We can zoom in and zoom out. Coming back to our main topic, we will be turning on the LED matrix of the micro bit. How to do it? Now we shall see. Go to the toolbox over here and click on the basic category. Go all the way down to show string block. Snap this one on on start block. And then come back to the basic category and snap this icon to forever block. We want two of these. So come back again and drag another one over here. Now change the icon of the second block and select the small heart. Oh, wait a second. Did you notice something? Our simulator of the micro bit start to work. What's happening here actually, 
any code we write on the right side, it will be showing on the micro bit on the left side. And if you paid more attention, you will notice the hello text appeared only at the beginning and for one time. And the heart animation keeps looping over and over again. Do you know why? This is basically happening because anything we put on the on start block will run only one time and at the beginning. And anything we put on the forever block will always be running in an endless loop. Okay guys, now instead of seeing the code running in the simulator, let's take it to our real micro bit over here. So bring your USB cable and connect it to your laptop and connect the other side of it to the micro bit over here. this way and then go to the download button over here and click on it choose micro bit on the left side over here and click save once this icon appear to you that means the code has been downloaded to your micro bit successfully so in case if that window didn't pop up to you and instead you get something like this click on this icon and click on show in folder drag this file to the micro bit all right now unblock the usb cable and power up the zoom bit by sliding the power switch to on there you go we have made it we managed to display the hello text on the micro bit and show the icon animation in case if you missed the text display you can always switch the power off and turn it on again all right so before we end this video let me show you a little trick that will save a lot of your time once you download the code every time to your micro bit, click on this icon and select connect device. Click on next, next again, and choose the first thing that appears to you. Click on connect. This way, every time you download the code, it will be automatically goes to your micro bit. Okay guys, since we finished the first chapter already, I encourage you to spend some more time and discover the basic blocks. Thank you so much guys for watching the video until here. I hope you enjoyed making your first project with the zoom bit. You did a pretty good job today. If you encounter any problem along the way, you may reach us on the telegram group. We will be there for you. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And until we meet again in the coming episodes, keep learning and have fun. Stay tuned and see you next time.